you have to be very very careful to make sure you back up your wallet in an offline make, make sure you back it up offline and with a place where you can easily have access to it anytime you want to and in a place that is very secure that nobody have access to because anybody that have access to your backup phrase can easily transfer your phone or move your phone from any wallet to another so your security is in your hand for this one i'm going to create a new i'm going to create a new account at the moment because i forgot my own so let me let me use one of my accounts on now okay creating a password Gonna create an, an account for me. Well, let's create it successfully. Now, once if you're if you're new to this, you can also add this the application on your mobile phone. Good. I just created an account right now for free. Now, once you create your account, the first thing you want to do is to back up your account. So I go to settings, or, no sorry, I go to security center. My security center, the first thing I, I normally do is to block top. I don't think that is active at the moment. So I need to verify my email address so it can, whenever I want to log in, it's gonna be sending me email for verification. Other, the, the first thing to do is click my backup phrase. Then I backup. Now these are my backup phrase. You have to write it down offline. You write it down offline. Write it. It's gonna to be tough. You write them down offline. So that one is you have to do it separately. You shouldn't. Nobody should be around you when you're trying to do that. Make sure you write it offline, please. Write it offline because if you write deep return on your say you let's say you screen grab it on your phone, anybody can have access to your phone and get it. So the best for you is to write it offline, probably in a journal or jotter or whatever you want to write it. Just write it offline and keep it safe. Eh? So you can have access to it anytime you want to. So you click on backup, you write the phrase down. After writing the phrase down, I think it's going to give you about 12 phrases. After writing it down, it's going to ask you to, uh, it's going to ask you uh, at random, probably the 12th number, the 10th number, the fourth number. It's going to have actually about four that you should input four of the answers. So once you input correctly, then it's going to verify your, your wallet has been backed up successfully so the next thing to do is to create a tool to enable your to have a code and normally use i i, I prefer not to use mobile phone because sometimes the, the, before like i want to log in and they would not they would say they sent uh the login key has been sent to me but i will not receive it on my text message as text message on my phone so I prefer to use the google Authenticator code so using the google Authenticator, you have to Use your phone, your, your Google Authentication app to scan this. So once you scan it, it's going to generate some six digit code for you. That's what you're going to use to do this right now. So it's changes. So even if you want to scan this right now, you need to have access to my, you have access to other accounts. Okay. So um, basically, that is the major setup. Then you have to verify your email. Let me see if I can do that at the moment. I'm going to verify my email. So whenever I want to log in, it's going to ask me to log. It's going to send me an email before I can log in. Then once the email, if, if, if let's say you've activated your true FA code and email verification, so once if you input your wallet ID directly from your email and you enter your password, it's going to ask you, it's going to send you an email that you should verify that you're the one that wants to log in. So once you verify, then it's going to bring up the Google authentication. So right now, I just verified my email. So you can see down has been done. I've not done my true FA code yet. That's Google Authentication app, the GA. Once I do that, I'll be able to. It's going to be asking me for the code whenever I want to log in. So the next thing is basically what you do with your wallet is to save your fund, your coin, and it's just to receive and send. Save, receive, and send. And you can swap as well. These are the swap option, bro. The last time I used the swap option, the fee is kind of high. So I decided not to use the swap option again, except probably it's going to a critical stage where I want to swap my coin. So we have USD packs. This one is a stable coin. That is, it actually varies between 0 0.9 from 99 cents to one dollar. 
that's basically the varying price so it, it, it's more, more or less a stable coin with the us dollar so you can easily just say bitcoin pump to about ten thousand dollars and you want to save your you want to move you want to have your more funding a stable coin you can trans, you can swap it to this one to the uh usd packs and it will be stable there so we have bitcoin we have ethereum we have bitcoin cash we have stellar so these are the biz, uh, major uh, what's it called? These are the major uh, this thing we have in major coins we have in blockchain at the moment. So you can also send if you want to send. It's going to ask you. I'm sending Stella right now. You can select any coin I want to send. This I select. I'm selling, sending Bitcoin. Okay. You can either either scan with your phone or scan with the your webcam to scan the code, or you can enter the receiving address or whatever whoever person you want to send to. Put it here. The amount. Or amount in dollars or amount in Bitcoin. If you put it in dollars, it's going to show it in Bitcoin as well. So put the amount in dollars or Bitcoin. Then for uh, good uh, for uh, what's it called? For professionals, people that have been using cryptocurrency for a long time, then that is those are people I advise to be able to use this custom fee. If the, most times if I want to send Bitcoin to somebody and the, I realize the fee is high, probably normally I send within the range of ten cents to. 19 or to 70 cents and realize the fees are you can easily tweak this you can just change the uh, buy uh, start by bytes by change it to one and enter the value it's going to reduce the fee and consequently it's going to take a longer time for the transaction to be confirmed so the estimation confirmation time is about one hour it can be less than that and from the mother within 10 minutes or one hour sometimes it takes up to 24 hours depending on the priority you have on your transaction so when you enter that you enter the address you enter the amount you have your fee set you continue then it's going to actually confirm that once you confirm it and you send within few seconds the person received the coin and also you can receive if you want to receive you can let's say i want to receive bitcoin i want to receive bitcoin so this is my receiving address at the moment so you can scan it or you can copy it and give it to the person that i want to send to you and the person will, will definitely once they send the coin to it it will reflect in your account and don't forget once you use this address once you use this address it changes it changes to another a new one that doesn't mean you can't use the old one you have before but just to make your i call it stealth more like keeping my making making your, uh, your account secure that people won't be able to track your the amount of transaction you have in your account because every transaction you have on a big on a blockchain is forming the ledger and at the, everything is on the chain that anybody that has access to address can easily see the amount of transaction you've all the transactions you've done on that address so this one once i use this one it's going to change again to a new one so you can that doesn't mean i can't use the old one so if i use the old one it's still going to come to my address okay so just like that you can create a new one or you can use the old one and you have your funding your bitcoin fund into your account okay basically that is how you what you do how to set up your uh, blockchain account there are other uh, private accounts that you can set up as well but this i'm just giving you int on outside of a blockchain basically you do the same thing for every other one like jacks uh mycelium you for jacks mycelium economy i am token and the rest then we have trust wallet that is actually been very right uh, one of the uh, mostly used uh wallet at the moment so the other stuff you can you can increase your security by going advanced you have various other things they're here the other thing i do is to block to give access to okay you can set it secondary you can send set a secondary password you can log you can restrict your login to a certain ip you know so it depends it all depends on you then you can come to your settings and do your profile wallet addresses and that and make sure like i said make sure your phone is secured make sure your backup phrases are secured also you we have the buy and sell though it does not yet been enabled on blockchain at the moment so you can't really buy and sell okay country not available to buy or sell for nigeria at the moment so as an Nigerian, you can't really buy even using your mastercard you can use it to buy on uh, using blockchain at the moment so likewise coinbase so uh you have the hardware so if you have an hardware wallet you can easily link your hardware wallet to your blockchain account your blockchain 
uh, address as well. So basically, that is how to set up your blocking uh, your blockchain account. If you have any question, please let me know, and please try follow and subscribe my channel. You can follow to get latest news about uh, cryptocurrency and how you can invest. Hello, good evening. Okay, continuation on how to deposit on BitMEX. So, to deposit on your BitMEX, and what you should do is click on your account. After logging in, you click on accounts, and from account you see deposits. You click on deposits. So you can use your, uh, you can scan. Uh, what's it called? Use, use your phone to scan, or you can copy this address and paste it to whoever want to send Bitcoin to you. Or if you're sending from your blocking wallet or whatever wallet you, can, you are sending from, you copy it and paste it on that. I, uh, wallet then you send any amount you want to send once you send it it's going to reflect here okay so basically that is how to deposit on block block um, bitmax thank you